Hey guys, welcome to my quick ROM review of the Sanagermod 11 for a UMTS version of um, XT910 Razer and the CDMA version also. So this is Sanagermod 11, um, it's nightly currently. Um, yeah, let's begin with the lock screen. You can change the widgets on the lock screen, you know, and you have the several um, targets here you can choose in uh, KitKat. So this is 4.4.4 KitKat, of course, the latest version you can get. And if you wonder what this widget is, it's um, actually the Cronus widget, which you can also find in several custom ROMs. And yeah, let's go to unlock. And this is my home screen. Um, you can actually choose between the original Google Now launcher and the um, Trebuchet launcher. And this is my Google Now widget. And um, yeah, let's begin with the wallpapers right now. And um, then I can uh, show you what's um, what uh, theming is going on here. So you have several nice wallpapers here, like in almost all Cyanogen mod base bombs. Really great wallpapers. I appreciate it very much. These are high quality wallpapers and also will look good on your HD device when you're not using a razor. Um, Sanager mod is um, available for pretty much any um, Android smartphone, you know. And uh, yeah, you can see it's not Google Now launcher because when I swipe to the right, um, there's no Google Now. And uh, let's go to the notification center. You can see it's uh, pretty nicely themed. That's because I installed a Android L theme, which is available in the Play Store. I can show you how it um, how it's called. So this is my notification center, and you, when you swipe right, you can see your um, mm, quick quick toggles. Uh, you can also customize them by clicking this plus icon here, and uh, you have all your information here. Wi-Fi settings and rotation and stuff. Let's jump right into settings. Uh, you can see it's pretty nicely themed. You can say it again because this is Android L look and you can get it by um, installing the theme. I can show you at the end of this uh, video. Just type in um, AOKP or CM theme Android L and you can uh, download it there, it's free. That's a good thing about it. And personalization starts with home. You can choose between Trebuchet and Google Now Launcher, like I said, and the lock screen is um, like always. You can uh, customize the um, C-Lock widget or your Cronus widget. You can also uh, enable custom widgets and um, choose your own. Like I did, I did um, choose Cronus widget. And uh, themes, there you go. I go to theme packs and um, this is the holo default one for KitKat 4.4.4. This is already light. You can tap on it and you can see that it includes alarms, notifications, boot animation and style and wallpapers and so on. And I can show you a preview if it's working. Yeah, this is the boot animation. It includes also the uh, original Android L boot animation, which is pretty cool. And I just wanted to increase my brightness a little bit. Um, yeah, so this is your themer, which is very, um, very innovative because you can, um, for example, if you don't like the font of Android L, you can go ahead and click on font and go for the default one and still use your other theme options of Android L, which is great. And let's go to status bar, which is great. You can um, have your clock in the center of, center of your status bar. Let's increase a little bit more. And you can also go for default, so your clock is on the right. Let's zoom a little bit. And uh, yeah, battery status is a circle right now for me. I like it this way. You can also go for text only, which is a little bit bigger. You can see the new icons of Android L look very good actually in this theme. So uh, yeah, a lot of customization going on here. Notification drawer, you know it. Um, show in drawer, quick, quick access ribbon. 
um, tiles and layout, you can also change that. Like, uh, like auto clause panel, sorry for the delay. I just had to pause the video quickly. Auto close panel is very good. So when you turn off Wi-Fi, for example, example, you can turn it off and um, the uh, pull down menu disappears, which is really cool. Show smaller tiles is very good too, because you can have more tiles on your screen, which is more efficient, you know, and tiles and layout, um, you can change it, of course, you can change your tiles, sound modes. Um, so yeah, pretty much the same as in all the great custom ROMs, which are now available in um, the XDA forums. So much to um, to do here, very great things. And uh, that's pretty much it. Now I can show you the theme in the Play Store, which is really cool. Just go to search and um, go for CM11 theme. Of course, I turned off my Wi-Fi for demo. Wi-Fi on. Let's retry. And there you go. This is already dark, um, but I chose I choose to have the already light, which features the light colors of the original Android L, which I've currently on my Nexus device, my Nexus 7 here. This is running official developer preview of Android L. And uh, yeah, download the theme and you have a great device. You can see the um, icons are also themed and the home button, uh, the draw app draw icon is also also themed for Android L uh, looks. So yeah, this is my uh, CyanogenMod 11 small hands-on review thing. And now you know which theme I'm using and um, I, hope, I hope you enjoyed this video. And for more ROM reviews on the Razer and, and the Nexus 7 and um, and for Windows Phone news, you can subscribe or leave a like or even comment. Would be great. I appreciate your support. So this is CM11 for the Razer. And yeah, have a nice day. And you can download the ROM and G apps in the description below. So guys, have a great day. See you in the next one. Bye.